patio here. Um, Tuesday morning, well, Tuesday lunchtime now. Um, before we start, just an apologise for yesterday. Um, for some reason, the um, broadband round here was so slow, it took such a long time to load up the two videos yesterday. The Diamond Head didn't get on till this morning, so I apologise for that. Totally out of my control. So what we got today, we've got a viewer's um, request today. This was by two people on a live stream that asked for this band. And here we go, it's The Clash. Now, when it comes to The Clash, I've only got one al two albums. I've got London's Calling and The Greatest Hits. That's all I've got, so I've had to go and listen to all the other stuff and so this is literally ranking on only listening to the whole of the catalogue in the last three or four weeks uh, the clash are obviously an english rock band punk band formed in 1976 uh, uh, with mick jones joe strummer nicky hendon and paul simon uh, made six albums and it was an interesting listen for me uh, sadly Joe Strummer died um, in 2002 um, so we'll have a look at these six albums okay then coming in at number six is the sixth and final studio album by The Clash released in November of 1985 Cut the crap. Uh, by this time, Mick Jones had left, uh, so Nick Shepherd came in on the guitars. Joe Strummer lead vocals and guitars. Paul Simone, uh, the drummer as well. Pete Howard did some drumming along with Nicky Hayden. Okay. First track on this album is called Dictator. It's not very good, I'm afraid. I didn't like this much at all. There's, they're all playing their own thing and doing their own thing. It just didn't do anything for me. Uh, Dirty Punk. Nice start to this track. But the vocals just go off on something. Really good track musically, but... Uh, the poor vocals I don't know what were going on there We Are The Clash probably the best track off this album um, sounds like a proper Clash song Strummer sounds pretty good and some nice riffs on this Are You Red Why pretty good riff at the start of this a uh, bit poppy than punky but it's not too bad uh, cool Under the Heat, love this opening riff uh, on this track, quite powerful but unfortunately Strummer's vocal seems to let it down a little bit. Um, movers and Shakers, uh, it's okay, it's not what I call particularly great. This is England, uh, this track seems to have lost its way. Uh, it doesn't sound nothing like the clash that I like on the greatest hits and London's calling. Three car trick. This track is definitely not my cup of tea. It's just it just doesn't do anything for me. Play to win. This is just a noise. Does nothing for me. Finger pop in. The production is terrible on this. Bass line's good though but that's about all I can say about this North and South quite a mellow track but it actually but sounds pretty good it's got a nice melody to it and it does sound pretty decent uh, Life is Wild very punky the vocal just sounds off though on the whole there's not much on there that I really lights my fire so I shall give it an RTO ranking of 4 out of 10. Coming in at number 5 
is the fourth studio album uh, released in 1980 Sandinista uh, this has got Dro Strummer, Mick Jones, Paul Sherman and Topper Heaton ok this album is just far too long we'll go through it and I'll explain why first track The Magnificent Seven yeah it's ok nice funky bass line nice delicate guitars pretty solid track I can go with that one Pittsville UK it's alright I suppose nice melody line it's got a little bit of keyboard in but the vocal is pretty weak, weak on this Junker Partner this is reggae meets punk and it just doesn't do anything for me it just it's not very good at all Ivan meets G.I. Joe it's just a noise it's not a song just a load of noise just does not do anything for me the leader is a very short thing but it's quite rock and roll and it's quite a good track something about England the lyric contact cont content and this could offend people it's a bit of a protest song um, I don't like it at all I don't like these it's it, I condemn it a little bit racist to be personal so I don't like it rebel waltz I love this it's good it's, uh, it's got a classical sound but it's done on a guitar probably one of the nicest tracks on the album even though you get some reared brass in it it's pretty good look here I just can't get on with that track at all it's just a dirge to me uh, the crooked beat this is a really good song great bass line uh, proper clash track with some great drumming and great vocals somebody got murdered it's a good track got a nice beat to it definitely one of the better ones on this album more time another good track the middle part of this album has got some really good songs on it uh, and it's a pretty good clash song more one more dub this is a dub version of one more time it's dreadful pointless piece of music what a waste of time that was <laughs> this is how I see it so if I'm upsetting some of you Clash fans I do apologise but I just find this album a bit long and winded uh, lightning strikes this isn't too bad um, it's a little bit disjointed but it's listenable up in heaven not only here yeah this is pretty good classic uh, that classic sound from the Clash uh, it's a punky song, really good start. Corner Soul. It's not the best track on the album, but I can listen to it. Let's go try crazy. Pretty mediocre track. This is not very good at all. If music could talk, this is quite good, and it reminds me of Joe Jackson. Quite poppy, really good track. Uh, the sound of the sinners this track is a totally lost it's trying to be rock and roll in parts tries to be punk tries to be pop it just hasn't got no identity police on my back I love this uh, it's an old um, equals Eddie Grant number it's a great cover of this song really good track uh, midnight log this is another good rocker I like that one a lot nice riffs the equalizer it sounds so much like the police uh, pretty good actually the call up solid track not a bad track at all nice beat to it it's got that dis distinctive uh, clash sound Washington bullets yeah not very good at all Broadway features an epilogue of the Guns of Brixton which is another song by Maria Gallagher it's okay eh, it's not the best track on the album Charlie Don't Surf this is a good track 
very, very solid. Now the next one, Men's for Thiel. It's something about England backwards with overdubs. This is terrible. I think they're just struggling to put stuff on the album here. Who wants to hear a song backwards with overdubs? Awful, awful. Junkie Ship. Slip, sorry. One word to describe this. Dirge. It's terrible. Filler. Kingston Advice, again, a pointless track, just filler. The Street Parade, this isn't too bad, quite listenable. Version City, this is just boring. Uh, Living in Fame, dub version of If Music Could Talk, dreadful song, dreadful, filler. Uh, Silicon on Sapphire, dub version of Washington Bullets. Washington Bullets is bad enough. This is just, oh, I can't be doing with it. It's very, very thin. This, is, this album's got 36 tracks on it. Version Partner, dub version of Yunko Partner. Filler again, just pointless filler. Career Opportunities, it's a re-recorded song of theirs by Luke Gallagher and Ben Gallagher. It's kids singing punk and it doesn't sound right at all. And then the last track, finally, Shepherd's Delight, another waste of time. It's a dub version of Police and Thieves, waste of time, waste of electricity. This album is just far too long, 36 tracks, and 30 of them are crap. I'm sorry, I don't usually say that, but if they'd have took their, the best tracks, and forgot the others it wouldn't be it'd be a decent album so I can only give it a RTO ranking of 4.1 very di I've never heard the album before very disappointing and it was just too long for me I lost I did lose about halfway through I lost the soul to live okay let's move on coming in at number four is the second album released in 1978 give them enough rope to hang give them enough rope sorry uh it's got the classic lineup joe strummer mick jones paul simeon and tepper heathen first track safe european home great track love this great riffs great vocal from strummer brilliant track next track single is civil english civil war that traditional when Johnny comes marching home just made into an English version not a bad version really good uh, next track Tommy Gunn classics clash here really good song fantastic song uh, Julie's been working for the drug squad solid song not bad at all Last Gang in Town, this is just good old fashioned punk rock, really good number. Guns on the Roof, uh, again, solid, great vocal from from Joe, fantastic. Uh, Drug Stabbing Time, yeah, love this. Great track, it's proper, proper clash, very punky. Stay Free. My favourite track off this album. I love the bass line. Nice, clean, crispy guitar work as well. Fantastic track. Um, Cheapskates. Heard this before I'd heard this album, uh, but I do like this track. Uh, great guitar work. Drums are great in this as well. All Young Punks, New Boots and Contracts. Solid as you like. Great solo in this, uh, really, really good track, solid track. Um, this album is a really good album. I, I've i never heard it all the way through. I thoroughly enjoyed it. and So I'll give it an RTO ranking of seven out of 10. Okay, coming in at number three then, the fifth album from The Clash released in 1982. Combat Rock, solid album. Um, again, I've never heard this one, only a the hits, obviously. 
and this is a really good album. Um, it's got the classic lineup again. Uh, Joe Strummer, Mick Jones, Paul Simeon, and Topper Heaton. Fantastic. First track, Know Your Rights. Really good track. Excellent start to the album. Great singing. Great guitar riffs. Fantastic. Car jamming. Love the drum start to this. You've got that great riff and great riffs that the Clash come up with. Terrific song. Then we get the classic, Should I Stay or Should I Go? Okay, everybody likes this one. And for a, a part-time fan of the Clash, I love this. It is fantastic. Even from that opening, from that then dan and dan and dan and dan Got me hooked straight away. Fantastic song. Next song, another corker. I love this as well. Rock the Casbah. What a track. Then we get Red Angel Dragnet. Probably the weakest track on the album, and I'm not that too keen on it. Straight to Hell. Love the bass on this. Really good drums in it. Uh, great work. Great singing from Strummer. Great track. Then we get Overpowered by Funk. This track is very similar to the same sort of beating as Rock the Casbah. Fantastic track. Um, Atom Tan. Good solid punk track. Fantastic. I, I mean, this album is full of short little sharp rockers. Great stuff. Uh, then we get Sean Flynn. Nice guitar textures in this. I like the saxophone in it as well. Very, very good. Um, then we get Ghetto Defiant. This is really weird. Um, got weird vocal in it, uh, but it works and it's quite a good track. Then In Calculated City. A little bit different for The Clash, but I do like it. It's, it's listenable. And like Death Star, the last track. A uh, little bit fillery, but on the whole, it is pretty good. Um, on the whole, this is a cracking album. Thoroughly enjoyed listening to this one, to the fact that I've actually now downloaded it. Um, and I give it an RTO ranking of 7.5. Coming in at number two is the debut album self-titled The Clash, released in 1977. Brilliant album this is. I'd only heard a couple of tracks on this, but again, this is one now that's in my collection. Um, so for the guys that said do The Clash, thank you. I've, I've expanded my Clash collection. First track, Jenny Jones. I love this. This is proper punk. Great track, great riffs, great singing. Remote Control, another great track. I was so impressed with this album. Remote Control is a really groovy track. Um, I'm so bored with the USA. The opening of it reminds me of the Sex Pistols, um, Pretty Vacant. Great track though. Uh, White Riot, I'd heard this one and I've, I have had like love this one great riffs great guitar solo in it as well and i just like the punky shouty vocals on it hate and war well this has got a bass line that just drives it what a track um love the vocal from the strummer on this terrific what's my name shortest track on the album it's only one minute 40 but boy is it brilliant and we get london's burning Again, I'd heard this track before. Uh, I've always liked this track. Um, considering I'm not much of a, I'm not a great Clash fan. I like their bits and bobs, but I've always liked this one. Then we get Career Opportunities. This is great. It's much better than two kids singing it. What were they thinking of when they got that? It just doesn't sound right. Um, then we get Cheat. I love the guitars and drums on this. Brilliant track. Um, it's quite funny on my notes here. Um, 
I use it, I do the dictate, dictate and the notes. And it's got a rather rude word beginning with F on this. So while I, I must have stopped and it picked up a bit of the lyrics because I was just having a quick listen to it. Yeah. Then we get Protex Blue. I love the combination of the bass and guitars in this. It really is a great little number. Great stuff. Police and Thieves. Great track. Good rock track that is. 48 hours. It's a bit of a rock and roll that this is, but really good. The bass line is terrific. And then we get Garage Land. Solid track to end the album. Now, so this is the probably the first time I've heard this all the way through, and it is a cracking album. What a debut. So I give it an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number one is their third album, of course, uh, released in 1979, and it's the album that I've had for a little while, London Calling. Terrific album, this is. It's, it's quite an iconic album. And it opens up, of course, with London Calling. This is my favourite track by the band. Uh, Biggie's buzzers when they put it in one of the Bond films when he lands I think it's the last one that Pierce Brosnan done London Calling, great stuff brand new Cadillac it's a classic uh, play uh, cover from by Hugh done by Vince Taylor and, the, and his Playboys very 50s star it's still got that feel nice rock and roll track Jimmy Jazz, terrific track, love this. Nice gentle track, nice gentle guitars. It's not too heavy, but it's a solid track, hateful. I just love the guitars in this. Nice, nice riff, nice arrangement. Rudy Can't Fail, this is another rock and roll. It's got that Bo Diddley feel to it. Terrific, terrific sound. Um, Spanish Bombs, not a bad track at all, and solid riffs, very good road vocal from Strummer. The Right Profile, yeah, I love the opening to this. Drums come in, fantastic track, really heavy. Lost in the Supermarket, a bit different departure for the band. Uh, great vocal on it though, the drumming's good. Then we get the brilliant Guns of Brixton. The bass line is fantastic. Bit of bongos in there. Terrific. Then we get Wrong Emboyo. Uh, it's got a little bit of staggerly in the old 50s number. Bit of horns. It's a lot of reggae. Terrific. Love it. Death or Glory. Another classic song from The Clash. Love Joe's vocal in this. It, the bass line drives this song along and it's a very very well put together track Coca-Cola no not my cup of tea the card sheet I really like this one uh, it's it's got little different caught in different lot of elements there's brass it's got slow tempo fast tempo works well superb track uh, Lovers Rock really the first poor track on the album it's again not my favorite four horsemen like this track nice little rocker it's a little bit of funky stuckness to it really good track uh, i'm not down solid track very good oh, i just love the riffs in this and the bass line Revolution Rock, the old Danny Ray um, number. I like that. That's a great track, this is. I love this one, though. It's a little bit better than the original. Terrific. And the last track is Train in Vain. Solid album track to end with. Great track. This album is a terrific album from start to finish. Only a couple of tracks that are a bit weak. So it, it won't be getting a 10 today, but it gets an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Well, that's 
that was an interesting one. I really enjoy doing this one because um, it's a little bit out of my remit, my personal music. But I'm glad I've done it and uh, I've now got a few more Clash albums. So thank you for the people that suggested me do the Clash. Okay, we've got a retro ranking to do a bit later. We're going, we're going proper rock and roll today. We're going back to Eddie Cochran, which will be a great one to do. So I'll see you all for that. Take care for now.